tall than Rabbi, I'm still taller than Jake. I'll go first, Ms. Veronica, I'm still crying. Last year, the rabbi and cantor invited all the bar apartments of families to a dinner to discuss the upcoming events, to answer the questions and concerns that the families might have. Jake and I looked at each other, and our only concern was having a bar mitzvah in the middle of the winter. We were somewhat panicked that there would be a snowstorm or a blizzard. What would we do? After all, last year on February 23rd, schools were closed due to bad weather. Well, maybe not in New York City, but in Westchester, Long Island, New Jersey. Don't get me started on that. <laughs> anyway, we asked the rabbi, what happens if the weather is terrible? All of our plans would be ruined. Who would plan such an important event in the most tumultuous month of the year? Well, the rabbi said, do not worry. I guarantee everything will be fine. I turned to Jake and whispered, the rabbi's good. I don't think she's that good. <laughs> well, rabbi, you are that good. It's February 23rd. It's 45 degrees outside today. All right, maybe a little cloudy, but I'm still impressed. Well, good morning. We're thrilled that you all came out to celebrate our son Jake's bar mitzvah with us today. As you know, we have three boys, Samuel, Jake, and Leo. Each of them unique. Samuel was born curious and somewhat serious. Leo, fiercely independent, full of questions. And Jake, well, he came out singing and dancing. <laughs> But for sure, the one thing they all came out with was his father's good looks. <laughs> As a child, Jake was always singing. He was always in tune, pitch perfect, beautiful voice. But for the first six or seven years of his life, we had no idea of what he was saying or singing about. You see, Jake was born with something called speech apraxia. Speech apraxia is a motor speech disorder that makes it hard for children to say sounds and words correctly. Jake worked diligently at trying to communicate, and he never gave up. He obviously persevered. Whenever his mother and I had no idea of what Jake was trying to say, we would ask, Sam, what did he just say? <laughs> Somehow Samuel always understood. That brings me to another special quality of Jake, his special bond with his brothers. Like any siblings, our boys have their moments. But when you see them together, as you have for many years in Temple, it is evident that there's no other love like the love for a brother, and there's no other love like the love from a brother. Jake, as Samuel was always there when you needed him, you were always there for your brothers as well. You sang beautifully three and a half years ago at Santa Barbara's home. You pick Leo up when he falls, and all three of you sticks up for each other when no one else will. May the three of you remain the best of friends for life. I thank the rabbi and cantor for all their dedication and hard work throughout the years with Jake and our entire family. Jake, we are so proud of the young man that you have become. In the, tech, in the Tick for Times article, you said it correctly. I am best described by my teachers, friends, family as an empathetic, caring, generous, and artistic person. You love animals, you love your friends, and you love your family. Believe me when I tell you that your friends, family, and your 11 animals love you too. <laughs> You did a great job today, Mazel Tov, on becoming a bar mitzvah. But let's not forget that today is your birthday as well. So happy 13th birthday. We love you very much.